Well, I'm originally from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. When I was born, unemployment compensation was the highest single source of income in the town. In 1972, the Hurricane Agnes disaster, we lost everything that we couldn't take out in the middle of the night. It gave a sense of empathy, of understanding other people's problems, you know, that don't make the quick joke because life can be hard. You learned a lot of tough things that way early on. I started out as a business major. My mother thought I was going to be an accountant. <laughs> you know, and as the grades for accounting went down, it's like, Mom, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> But I wound up double majoring in business and economics. When I got the bachelor's degree, Syracuse accepted me for their PhD program, and I was overwhelmed. One of the economics teachers, I told him the troubles I was having. I said, I can't do the math. And he smiled at me. No, you can do the math. You just won't do the math. And he said, but that's okay. He said, not everybody has to be a PhD economist. It was like, thank you. All of my graduate education was through graduate assistants, helping the teachers with their work, grading papers and things like that. And when I got to Syracuse, I found out that I was gonna be in the classroom. I was furious. I never wanted to be a teacher, never wanted to be a teacher. And, but what I found out, even when I was teaching economics, that I thought I was pretty good at it. After a year at Syracuse, I transferred to Binghamton University and finished my master's degree in economics there. I wanted to go back and get a PhD in history. College Park was the one that gave me aid. It took me seven and a half years. My specialty wound up being 19th century foreign policy. Now I gotta find a job. Again, I had adjuncted a little couple classes at Catonsville, a couple classes at Howard. It was 96 when I started here at Carroll. They needed a full-time history teacher, and it turned out to be me. That was another good day. Because <laughs> so, I've been here now almost 22 years. It's a good job because the students are fantastic. We get the first person in their family who's going to college, like I was. We get the older students. We get the veterans. You get the students who really want to be here for the most part. It's again that empathy that I think I got when I was little. It's like I just, I, I, the connection I, I get with them. Instead, I keep coming back. This is, this is a great place to be. It really is.